Hey guys, it is the 15th of September. Things are finally cooling down over here. And we are in the 101st episode of 4Player Anime Cast. Welcome, welcome. We're going to head right back into, you know, cover reviewing, uh, reviewing series real quick. And then right after this, or I guess the week after this, we're going to be dealing with the upcoming fall anime series. This is, again, uh, for the viewers out there, we did delay this by a week. We had some technical difficulties. Apologize. But now we are going to cover some of the bigger series here, and then we're going to write it up like that. Yeah, we do have a lot of big names here, so please do uh, check these out. But anyways, uh, three weeks of absence. Again, apologies. But in the meantime, I've been, I've personally been just kind of running around dealing with some real-life stuff. I've actually slowed down a little bit on the... Uh, web novel light novel front because of that but uh what i actually want to do is i want to kind of get back more into the visual novel thing because like okay so like before again like i've been a long time visual novel fan but it's like before well i mean like I, i'm i can also generally go through like uh, a raw visual novel or like just a japanese like non-translated visual novel in like at somewhat decent pace but it's like these days it's like before i used to have like I used to go through an English translated visual novel and then, you know, I'd wait like months, maybe even like half a year and be like, yeah, there's like nothing new. Now there's like one coming out like every two weeks. <laughs> so by the time I was just like, hey, should I get back into the grind? There are like what? eight different visual novels that I have to check out. Like, yeah. what? What's check going the on? front page is themed. Yeah. What, what, <laughs> is your, what is your Shut favorite up. current visual novel, Spire? Uh, that I played? When or... they cry. When they cry, and the seven hundred different copies. Yeah, yeah exactly. Something, something. Uh, the colony. Yeah, but anyways, uh, I don't have thing that I. Uh, I don't know if I have anything that I really like right now. Why? But it's like, um, we'll we'll kind of see how it goes out. Uh, but yeah, anyways, but I'm planning on getting back into that, and I'll cover. An up uh, series pretty soon, or I guess like right after this, and uh, near. What about you? These three weeks. What about me? Yeah. <laughs> What's um, up with you, near? <laughs> I don't know, dude. <laughs> uh, I've been playing Spider Man. Ah, uh, yes, it's come out recently. Yeah, it came out. People are saying it's essentially kind of just like Batman, right? That's right. No weeks. It's well, no. Um, I mean, it takes inspiration from Batman because I mean, what, what, what? It's kind of hard to uh, not uh, make a superhero game anymore without right. uh, being inspired by Batman. But um, you know, it takes a lot of inspiration from other uh previous Spider-Man games as well, which is nice because okay. uh, the last Spider-Man games have been. They've got some good ideas in there, even if some of them aren't very good. But, uh, you know, pretty good game. Uh, if you've got a PS4, there's not much else coming out for it. So it's like, why not? Well, what right. about Dragon Quest Eleven? That's on PC, right? <laughs> yes, it is. So who cares? <laughs> um, but yeah, it's a pretty good game. I would highly recommend. Other than that... Um, I'm still watching old anime because mm -hmm. uh, I'm just, I've just been like that lately, mm -hmm. you know. Um, and I watched uh, apparently a show that nobody's heard of uh, this season, so that'll really? be fun. Okay. No, I thought I didn't hear no, of I mean, it. I, thought, no, I just I mean, forgot people, about it. People mentioned it, but like yeah. it kind of just uh -huh. died down afterwards. I think. Yeah. So. Okay. I had my funny joke all lined up, and, like, none of you guys even knew what I was talking about. I didn't get what you were talking about in the DMs until, like, literally we had to, like, shove it in my face. This guy. <laughs> I'll be honest with you, I didn't know that was a joke until literally right now. I'm not paying attention. What did you say? <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Hey, you I thought you were right. actually just watching it. Near will talk about it. Anyways, uh, Nero will talk about Berserk again. Uh, the kind of stuff coming up, so watch out for that. Moving on to oh, Toast. Whatever, dude. <laughs> uh, the blue sky is the hot. Okay. Uh, 
Huh? Hey, Jules. Toast. What? what have you been up to recently? What was the last podcast? It was three Where weeks ago. Go? Did you know Dude. that that the Bleach movie is on Netflix? And uh, the trailer that shows the trailer, the live action one. Yeah, the yeah, trailer that shows when you hover over it is English subs. But I heard, I heard like Spanish audio, but it's Mine Japanese. Was in French. What what is up with that? Oh, that's because you're in Canada. I guess my default is the French dub. <laughs> Ours defaults to Spanish dub. That's awesome. Yeah, that's yeah, cool. I don't know. So I, I watched it in Spanish. It was a, it was um, quite an experience. Okay. Is it? It's because hollows are supposed to be Spanish, because they live in Hueco Mundo, and they have and they have Spanish names, like uh, East, like East Quierda and Grand Rey Cerro. And I have zero idea about what's going on with that franchise, honestly. <laughs> Are you saying the intended bleach viewing experience is the Spanish dub? <laughs> it's like it's no, like the intended one is uh, reading Gene Simmons' son's manga. Ah, uh, yes. It's the correct way to consume bleach. It's like it's like the villain gets punted by a uh, uh, like a fucking like the Shinigami powers and just gets fucking embedded in one of those like rock pillars that are always there in bleach. And it's like all you can hear in the background is go. <laughs> that, that's racist. Uh, Jesus. Anyways, uh, what have you been watching recently, Toast? It's you, actually been from this. You really want to ask me if I've watched Fate Last Encore again? Because I did. <sighs> have you watched anything that's else? That's not what he asked. You. <laughs> um, that is not at all what I asked you. Uh, but yeah, okay. So have, you have you been watching have you Fate Last that, Encore? Have you seen that movie, Crazy Rich Asians? I have heard of it, but I have not watched it. Because, yeah. That's my okay. life. Yeah, that's, that, that was your last three weeks. All right, that's great. <laughs> and, and, uh, I watched some other thing, but yeah. Okay, then. So, um, wait, you watched Crazy Rich Asian? No, my parents did. Okay. <laughs> All right, dude. Anyways, this is uh, a good conversation. <laughs> dark. <laughs> you want to tell us about uh, Tracy or Traces or maybe what you've been watching for the past three weeks? Uh, watching, been watching some Joe Rogan experience. <laughs> yeah, Listening yeah. to Neil deGrasse Tyson talk, so that's pretty oh fun. Oh my god! Did you know that you don't die in space if you take off your helmet? I didn't know that. <laughs> Yeah, I thought you actually exploded. I actually thought you fucking died immediately. It's not um, explosive decompression. Wow, that's a... no, that's not that's not real. Uh, I, mean, I thought it was. But now that I think explode, about it, right? nope. They like freeze or something, don't they? Nope. So... Because the only problem is, is if you're on the surface of a moon or something where like it's actually hot. But if you are just in space and there's nothing like. You know, there's obviously no atmosphere around you. You you won't freeze because you only like it'll be cold, but it's only going to freeze you as fast as your body can radiate that heat, which isn't that fast. Hmm. So what might have what I think does happen though is that you have a very high chance of getting that shit that uh, divers get, like the nitrogen uh, sickness or whatever, from surfacing too early. Like you can get that, but you don't like explode or anything. Like you would suffocate long before anything else kills. You. Yeah. How, how, do they, how do they know without throwing somebody in space? So you'll get you'll get sp- you'll get space. <laughs> well, I mean, I mean that makes uh, essentially the assumption is that there is literally nothing in space. Well, it's like it's like I mean, okay, so it's well, like if there's no if there's no like gas or anything around you. So I mean, the, so it's the space idea. Depends. No, no, no. What, what I'm saying yeah. is that, like, it, it makes sense in the in the sense that, like, like when people think of a vacuum, they think of something like sucking, because of like obviously vacuum cleaners and stuff like that, right? And like things oh. in vacuum. But the idea is like, but the idea is that there is just nothing. It's like there's a difference between like something that is actively like taking away what you have, and there's some like literally nothing, and then like you're just like leaking out kind of shit to that nothing. So I guess it, it definitely does make sense if you just consider it like that. Are, so, you saying, are you saying JoJo lied to me? 
<laughs> are, are you saying what happened to cars was just a dramatiza- dramatization, dramatization yeah. of, of events? <laughs> yeah, actually. Oh my God. I mean, cars would still die in space, though. No, like, he doesn't. He's immortal. Wouldn't... No, he's got. He or rather, dies. or rather, he wouldn't. He still wouldn't be able to do it. He's got like air jets. <laughs> that was his thing. He was gonna like blow air out of his back so we could. Yeah, but you shouldn't be able Earth. to do that in space because there's no but air. Got clogged up. Yeah. With ice, because it's so cold. Yeah, that wouldn't happen. That actually, yeah, that would not happen. I can't believe JoJo lied to me. So what you're <laughs> so what you're saying that the end of you mean Neil deGrasse Tyson to fact check JoJo. I think so, I think Neil deGrasse Tyson secretly knows how long. <laughs> yeah, I think JoJo <laughs> fact check Neil deGrasse Tyson. <laughs> so <laughs> so remember that scene knows more. that scene near the end of Total Recall where Arnold Schwarzenegger and that girl they fall out they fall into Mars and they start choking and their eyes start you know blowing yeah, up. Yeah, that would that would not that happen. happen. No, but then they suddenly unless get better. The, when... Unless the pre- no, because actually the gravity on Mars is, is very similar too, and yeah, the pressure sure. isn't any different either. The issue with uh, stuff like Mars, Mar- it would uh, just be very hot. You would, the, you hot, would... the hot and the gases and stuff like that. Yeah, like that. you would you would suffocate because you wouldn't be able to breathe, and it would be really hot. It's like the same thing with the moon. Like the moon surface in the sun is like two hundred fifty degrees, and then it's like negative two hundred fifty when there's no light on. So, so, so like that would be a problem. So it's like obviously you couldn't go suitless on that for a short period of time. So it's like yeah. when someone farts in a crowded elevator kind of thing, where it's hot and yeah. smelly, and you suffocate. Exactly. Exactly. All right. All right. Yeah. Anyways. Anyway, uh, so that was like what, podcast. yeah. What, what, what anime? <laughs> Talk what about anime JoJo. Watching JoJo. <laughs> um, I've been watching. Uh, I've been watching. Dropkick. I've been keeping up with almost everything except for Gundam Build Divers because that series is really bad. Uh, it's not worth your time. It sucks. Uh, I really hope they go back to doing Build Fighters after this because that's an actual series with an actual fucking storyline going on. Mm-hmm. Um, so yeah, I've been doing that. Uh, trying to think of what else I've been doing. Watch some of Planet With. Uh, get into that as well later. Um, watch part of a short that Toast linked me, uh, and that was interesting. Oh yeah, I, I need to talk about the show. Yeah, he he does actually. Um, and then other than that, been uh, not doing much else. I asked Toast for manga and never read them because I only remembered I did that until just now. <laughs> Uh, okay. That's, well, that's wait, what did you ask me to link you? Because I don't remember linking you anything. I had you link me. I had you link me. Um, the gorilla one, okay. where like the uh the brother moves in after the. That was like uh, ages ago, dude. Yeah. Well, I asked him to link it to me now because I was like, oh, maybe I'll read some. Um. Then I had him link it the uh elf like exercise one. Oh, the fat um, elf one. Yeah. Yeah. Then I had him link, he relink me the um, what is it? The annoying like office, uh, the sen- coworker one, the senpai whatever? one, yeah, I, I remember yeah, that. The, the annoying senpai one. Hmm. Um, and yeah, I had him, I had him link me those, and then I proceeded to not read a single one of them. <laughs> nice. Okay. Crack them. Yeah, uh, Dark has a uh, illiteracy disease, so you have to forgive him. <laughs> yeah, I need to get the audiobook version. Sorry. Yeah. Preferably also with uh, videos and animation to go along with the audiobook. Make preferably sure. Preferably read. also, yeah. Preferably also able to be found on uh, KissAnime.com. Preferably voiced by Elon Musk smoking a joint. <laughs> oh, well, don't forget! Don't Perfect forget in English, in the in English, so you can you can watch it while working out or cooking. Without having to look at the screen. Uh, what? Okay, oh yeah, and I've also been watching uh, My Hero Academia. I don't know if you heard of it, but boy, things are popping off in that series. So, so here's a question. Yes. I, I've been, I've been almost over. cried, dude. So, so oh, here's a question you know I've, I've been thinking about: Is who who's, who is stronger than All Might that we know of? Oh my god, me, dude! I told you. 
Do you think do you think Kenshin could defeat All Might cuz Kenshin's pretty strong? Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. You think Elon Musk smoking a blunt could be All Might? <laughs> all, right, all right, let's let's move on. If he's in the Tesla. <laughs> if he's in the Tesla. Then he feels... Anyways, we're gonna move on. Um, I guess I'm gonna go first here. Just gonna kind of go over it pretty. Quick. What if I I want to go first? What? What do you even? Yeah. What do you, no, okay, can we, okay, so I'm going to go first, and I'm going to be covering Shichisei no Subaru, which is also known as Seven Senses of the Reunion. I don't think there's any, like, subcaption or anything like that, but there's, like, weird, like, titles and all of this for whatever, and it has been described um, somewhat accurately as uh, Anohana mixed with Sword Art Online. Who, who so, the heck described it like that? That's, was it me? I think I did that. I mean, it was you, but it was also definitely other people. <laughs> what, what fucking idiot would say I know, that? Right? Wait, it sounds shit, like something I, I would that. say. <laughs> no, no, a lot of a lot of other people have said that. It wasn't just you, but um, it is somewhat accurate. I'll go into details a little bit more. But again, the basic premise is that there's this you know virtual reality game. Everybody's playing it. But it's the game is permadeath. You die in the game, and then you can't return, like with to your original account or whatever. To the, so, it, then, so it's like that one game on Steam that never got past like the uh, the trailer stage or whatever. Greenlight. I I I guess there are a lot of games like but that. There, there were there were like anywhere. this is hardcore. One life. If you die, uh, yeah, right. Like kind of but the, the but, game yeah. uninstalls, and you have to buy a new version. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, some some games are like weird. Games are like that, yeah. But yeah, it's it's sort of like that. And then the MC and his his crew are part of this huge part or this like top party that challenges the boss that nobody has ever beaten. They fail to defeat the boss, and then also, um, or either during the during the process of beating the boss, the um, sort of I guess the heroine, the main heroine of of the series uh gets killed and she disappears and then later on the mc is all, all like traumatized doesn't want to return to the game obviously because what happened was was that when the girl died in the game found out that she also died sort of coincidentally in real life and so a, a lot of people kind of like blame him or one of some of the people blame him for you know causing the death of the girl etc 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 all this like trauma and like you know cast drama right later on guy returns to the game and finds out that the girl has been revived but she can't log out of the game so she's essentially stuck as sort of computer data in the game right wow. and so they're trying to find out like what's going on there are like all these people with like powers to like read minds and the future and stuff like that that uh, i don't really care about to be quite honest but it's there <laughs> But yeah, but Spire, don't is it in is it the like game that? or in real life? Like, and are so, they reading the future of the game or of real life? Like, so, so, so it is measured in real life. It's like a midi chlorians thing or some shit. Like, from as far as I can tell, but the powers, like, although they focus, they talk about it like mainly within the context of the game. It's like, it's like a real life thing because those powers are like. The power to like read minds, and you're like, what the? F-? <laughs> so yeah, it's kind of. Do you get kind of what I mean? It's like they no. they talk about it pretty much only in the game, but the powers are like real life powers, like powers to read minds. So, so they're so, like, so they're like, oh man, I have power casually, to powers, read yeah, minds. Yeah, yeah. It's like Sakura to read By the way, like, yeah. guess I'm gonna be like the greatest fighting game player. Yeah, exactly. In the exactly. World. <laughs> Nobody's actually <laughs> like, talking about it within like the real life context, really. <laughs> But yeah, it's what, uh, what's this ra- what's this rated on mall? I, Not high. I think it's six like point two. Six, yeah. Point two. yeah, it is by Lerche, who is a, mm. it, a solid studio. But I mean, they probably just picked the. Uh, I don't like the adaptation they picked this time. Um, they do run a pretty solid uh, set of. Uh, uh, well, they they have visuals, but it's like uh, the opening of st- the opening and ending. I'm not a big fan of. It's a little bit weak. Both vocals and instrumentals. So there, there's that. Um, 
in terms of the story, again, going back to what everybody will say, uh, it's like Anahana meets Torta Online. I think at a first glance, saying it like that is okay, but I also have a different... It's more okay to me because I have a different connotation. I have a different evaluation of what that means to me than most people, you know what I mean? Like, when most people are like, oh man, Anahana, or like, Maybe even like, oh man, sort of online. Oh, I'm like, sword art. Oh man, yeah, yeah, exactly. Greatest exactly. series ever. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But to me, those are not the most pleasant experiences to me. So I'm just like, ah, oh, this shit again. <laughs> just hate her, dude. <laughs> yeah, just hate her. You just don't like emotions. Mark. <laughs> yeah, I come in. But yeah, and so the correction uh, to make it more like accessible as like as a summary would be. It takes the worst parts of both Anohana and Sword Art Online and puts them in the series. So you're already sensing where I'm going with this sort of uh, review. <laughs> um, in terms of the, I guess, I guess I'll start with the Anohana part. So it's like, you know, it's sort of like they get they're getting back the crew together to kind of mourn and kind of introspect, retrospect about this girl that has apparently passed away but has come back. And the the cast is sort of deciding what to do with her, right? It's like she she doesn't have. It's been six years since she died, and then they have you know time has passed. They've thought of all over this. They've had their fights. They've had their differences, perspectives, and stuff like that. And then they have to develop, right? And then it's it's kind of weird because it's like I would. It's like in the main cast the villains are pretty not villains but it's like the opposing factors to the mc is pretty like railroaded it's like the childhood friend the female uh, subhero and who's like you know all you know supporting the mc she's like all supportive and friendly and it's like that's sort of fine like she counsels him it's like yeah that that makes sense and then the other guy is like you killed her I fucking hate you so much. Ugh. And it's like, it's like this guy is completely useless. I'm like, yeah, I get it, but it's like I don't, I don't really see the. Uh, uh, it's like it's like he's like I absolutely refuse to work with you in any sense of form, and. Oh, like, I don't care if all of you die except for this girl. I'm just like, wait, 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 wait. I'm okay with, like, him hating the dude, but it's like, I don't understand this whole, like, everybody except this girl can die. It's like, you're not the one in love with this girl, right? It's like, <laughs> I don't really understand why there's this huge obsession with, like, destroying the rest of the cast, but then the girl is okay. It's like, I, I think it's like, there's especially since like the guy's like character personality is supposed to be like an intellectual right it's like i think there is a, a certain point at which you're just like okay well maybe you're hating a little bit too much right so i don't like the way that the opposing factors to the mc are set up sometimes where it's like oh i hate you or like i have to kill you or like i have to get rid of you or like you're so useless. Like I'm not. I'm not a big fan of that, and really any sort of uh, personality context. So that's sort of a problem for me. It, it was similar in the um, again, like near the ending of Anahana, where like everybody just went crazy, right? It's like fucking tell the truth. I hate you. Blah, blah, blah. And it's like, eh. <laughs> it's like, eh. <laughs> but yeah. Uh, so that I sort of saw as a problem. So it's like from what they took from Anahana was very like this like sense of accentuating the drama, which I don't think was the good point of Anohana. I think the good point of Anohana was, uh, again, the, the, the idea of introspection and retrospection within the unique context of somebody dying, right? But uh, I think, uh, I think in terms of the sort of online portion, the, how shall I say it? It's like super fucked up. It like completely screws the rest of the series. Is it like that one Christmas arc where Kirito slayed like the Santa boss all by himself to get that revival crystal? 
but it turns it's out sort of, it's sort of similar. Um, it's how do I say this? It's like even the Anahana part, I'll be sort of okay with, but it's like uh, the sort of online portion of it completely just like because because the issue is it's like with sword online it's like they mainly have like the fights within the video game where right? like there are scandals that happen outside of the video game like oh this guy was a bad guy all along and he was trying to do whack things in vr but it's like in, in shichi no super like these guys have like uh, like psychic powers like, they're like midi chlorians essentially like some people can read minds and then like suddenly the plot goes from oh yeah there's this like dead girl and like you know, we should all like make up and like kind of think about how to how to how to deal with this dead girl that came back to life, and it goes from that to like suddenly, if we use this girl's psychic power, we'll create and like use her in our guild, then we'll create a new world order in our video game. 